Hi, my name is Daiho. I'm a Zen Buddhist priest, and welcome to my channel. I'd like to do a short series of uh, talks on the Zen of trauma. Uh, this, this, this series is for, especially for um, veterans, uh, uh, rape and incest survivors, people who have been uh, seriously traumatized by uh, a, an experience that poses an immediate and an imminent threat of harm to themselves or others. It's outside the realm of ordinary human experience, I might add. <clears throat> Trauma is uh, something that is, what, devastating. It turns our world upside down. What we thought to be uh, a safe and fair and predictable world, more or less, uh, was shown to be, or is shown to be, rather unpredictable, unsafe, and unfair. Now imagine, if you will, that you're a person who suddenly realizes that the world is dangerous, it's not fair, it's not predictable, and how do you behave? How do you act? At any moment, something bad could happen, and you know this because something bad has happened. So much of the uh, symptomatology, or so-called symptom, uh, symptoms of uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, are um, normal reactions to an abnormal circumstance, um, a highly abnormal circumstance, I might add. <clears throat> so it's, it's interesting to me that uh, it's classified as a mental disorder. Uh, I think it's primarily so that uh, it can be paid for by insurance. Um, I don't know, or, or can be considered a, a, a factor in disability. And in fact it is. The reality is that many people who have traumatic stress disorder um, have a very hard time working. They are often comorbid with other, other conditions uh, like uh, alcoholism or drug addiction, uh, severe depression, those kinds of things um, that uh, pro prohibit them from actually being able to work. They have trouble with relationships, uh, they have trouble communicating. Often the language they use is very different from the language that normal people in the world uses. <clears throat> so what I'd like to do is have a series maybe of four or five uh, small short sessions so they're not too much to uh, take a look at um, and we'll explore uh, trauma and uh, how it relates to uh, our lives and what we can do to uh, deal with it. I say deal because coping is just a strategy that gets us through the night. It's not necessarily a, a way of um, resolving the issue. Uh, it's more of a, a way of coping through the night, as I said. Like if you have a toothache and you put some uh, Ambisol on it and you get through the night, you still have the, the tooth that needs to be dealt with. Um, that's what I call dealing. Uh, so you can uh, cope or deal with something. Dealing requires you to face it, to work through it, and to experience it again and again in many, in many ways. Um, okay, so I hope that you uh, will join me in our walk down this path. Uh, let me know what you think uh, along the way, and I'll be glad to incorporate your thoughts into my talks. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Be well.